right guys, I just wanted to come on here today and do a video. I've had several people ask me about some of the tools and basics that I use. And I just want to show you guys what those are in case you're wanting to look for those in the store. And if you hear a chicken outside you're not hearing things, there really is a chicken right outside my window. My husband's chicken. He grows. That's what he does. So, maybe he'll be quiet for a little while. Okay, let's get started. Um, I've been scrapbooking since and card making since 2002 or 2003. And so, over the time, I've bought different things and they worked and sometimes they haven't and I've learned from those mistakes <laughs> and bought more um, so this is the trimmer that I use right now and this is the Fisker's Rotary I got this one at Hobby Lobby um, I think it was about $30 and you can get them you know with your coupon of course and um, I believe Walmart also carries these but they're gonna be a little bit more and the, the blade is really neat it's um it's the rotary, and I, I get these refills at Walmart if I can find them. And they're just a rotary um, blade, but they're really easy to, to replace and everything. And I really, really like this one. Put it in backwards. <laughs> there we go. Um, I really, really like this. It's, you know, it's sturdy and it holds up, you know, for what I want it for. And it's just a really good one. So that's the one that I'm using right now. I have a backup um, different one. I'll show you real quick. Let me get it out of my cabinet real quick. This is my this is my backup one. Kind of dusty. I'm not going to sell it. Anyway, I have a backup one, and you know, if I have to, if I don't have blades, use it. Um, the next thing I want to show you guys is this is my pair of backup um, detail scissors. I have cutter bees also, and um, I just think that a good pair of scissors, small detail scissors, is a good thing to have for any high paper. And another thing that is a good basic is just a really good basic black pen. I mean, this one has the broad tip on one end and the small tip. And there, it's a Zig Rider. And you can get these in sets of colors. But I think that a good black is just, you know, you're always going to need a good fine tip and broad tip black pen. And then the next thing that I think is essential that is new to me that I just started using about a month ago is this Wink of Stella brush. It's by Zig also. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was about $7, but I used a coupon on it because I really thought I had to have it. And it just adds a touch of glitter wherever you need it. You know, it's just like controlled glitter. So if you don't want to get your glitter out but you still want to touch, that's a good thing to have. And the next thing is, I think for any kind of paper crafting, is you're always going to need a good hole punch. And I mean, I got this for like a dollar at Dollar Tree, probably, or maybe Walmart. And it's always good to just have a basic hole punch. So I think that's something that people need to add to their, to their wish list if they need them. And the next thing is this set of Perfect Layers rulers. I don't think that these are essential for anybody who's just starting out, but for me, they're good for scrapbooking because it, it makes the, you just butt this up to the edge of like the paper and it has a little catch on the side and then you run your Zecto knife down the side and you get a perfect, you know, one eighth, one quarter, it's got the different ones on the ends the size of the mat around your item. So to me those are good, you know. I got these on QVC because that was at the time the only place that sold them. But, you know, I think that they're, you know, and you can tell that they're old. <laughs> but well used. And um, the next thing is I think that an ink edger, whichever brand that you want to use, if you're looking for that vintage look, 
every time, you know, an, a good ink edger, you know, is good. It could be just a basic brown pad and, and run across the edge of it. That was, that's something that I, I use a lot on my older vintage looking papers. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is several different things in one. Um, is a good adhesive. Whatever your choice is, and there's a million out there, there's sticky tabs, there's wet glue, there's, you know, but these are my tried and true favorites. Um, this is E6000, a small tube of it. This is good for making the altered paper clips and anything that's plastic or metal to metal, metal to, you know, metal to plastic however you want to do that. I mean, it's a little stinky, so, you know, if you're if you're sensitive to that kind of thing, then you might want to use this either outside, and it doesn't take much, just a touch of this stuff to go a long way. And this is something tried and true that I've learned over the years. And another thing that I use is, especially on pocket letters that are going to be in that pocket, and they're not going to be handled a lot like a card, is I just use a, um, just these cheap glue sticks from Dollar Tree. I mean, if I just need to put something together that, you know, is light, I just use these glue sticks. I don't think there's a need in using that higher price, you know, harder to get adhesive. And another thing that I use a lot of is this uh, double-sided tape from Dollar Tree also. And Walmart, you can get it there. Just double-sided tape, you know, just something real quick to hold something together while it's drying with glue or or just whatever. This stuff is really actually pretty strong. I go through this a lot. I do a lot of this. And um, the next thing is just, you know, some all-purpose glue, uh, wet glue. And I think even probably school glue. This time of year with all the sales, you know, you could, could always just use plain school glue. Just use a small amount so it doesn't buckle up and, and warp on you. But this is good stuff, too. And another thing that I really use a lot of is the Scotch 3M, no, I guess Scotch and 3M are two different brands, but 3M uh, painter's tape. And if I have a ribbon or something that needs to go to wrap around the back of something and the person is not going to see the back of that, and it was, it was especially like a silky ribbon or a twine, um, like a real fibrous ribbon, it doesn't seem to want to hold with a regular piece of tape. A piece of this tape is going to hold it. And if nobody's going to see it, then, you know, use it. Because it's, it's really good stuff. And that's just one of those things I've learned over the years, too. And another thing, which it seems like it will be so simple <laughs> to keep at your desk when you're working, uh, is just, you know, just a good pencil. I mean, a good sharp pencil, you know, to make your cut lines and... And, I mean, it seems simple, but sometimes people, when you sit down to craft, you forget, oh, I need a pencil. So, that's, that's something that, that you always need. So, you know, a trimmer, scissors, a good black pen, a hole punch for, you know, tags and other embellishments. Um, to me, perfect layers is good. An ink edger, um, a wink of Stella pen for highlighting. And the adhesives, I think, are the basics that would get anybody really started in paper crafting. I think your biggest expense is probably going to be that trimmer, but that's just something you're going to reach for every time that you paper craft. Uh, I don't even know how many miles mine has on it. I'll be a million. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here and, and talk to you guys about the basics that I use, because I get asked a lot about, about my basics. And I'm going to do an embellishment video I had posted last night on the group about some embellishments that I made. A tutorial that I followed of someone else's and she's really, really good. And she, she really explains stuff really well for me to understand. So I'm going to show some of the embellishments that, that I have made from her tutorials. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to try to explain how to do them. I'm not that great of a teacher sometimes when it comes to those things. But I can show you guys, you know, what I, over the years, have learned is important to me. You know, and after buying things 
and them not working out. <laughs> um, so, anyway, thanks guys for watching, and happy Monday, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.